Okay, so it is the time to uh, finally run over this car or attempt to. I don't think it is at all. I think it's just going to go up to the windshield and that's it. But we'll find a way to destroy it. So I got to figure out like my plan, what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen at all. I'm not an expert at this. We got to jump this thing because the battery's dead. Because it's been sitting for I don't know how long. So I'm going to bring my Tahoe over here. And we're going to jump this thing. Hood's open on two Chevys. What a surprise. I'm going to put this thing in high idle. Wah, wah. Minty box starts right up. Never let you down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so a little part that no one ever shows, but when you own something or have something, no matter what you do with something, the most important part is keeping stuff clean. So now that car sat there for like a month and a half. And there's a bunch of rocks, garbage, plastic, junk, whatever under it. And then there we got some cat litter. So now I'm going to sweep up the whole area. The most important part about owning this place is keeping it clean. Okay, <clears throat> shop's clean. See, outside's clean, quick and easy. Remember, take care of things. If it's a Tahoe, don't take care of it. If it's a GTO, take care of it. If it's a lifted Camaro, don't take care of it. And if it's an Impala, don't take care of it. Fellas, red to black. Oh, shit. Red to black and black to red. Okay, so what you do, that out, the, yeah, feed that in. Give it a little warmth. I put like five or four quarts of actual tranny fluid in yesterday, but this is better than transition fluid. Just dump it down in there. I'm gonna check brake fluid in this thing now. Could be making a mistake for carrying, but, oh. oh. That back is empty. So that means if we put more brake fluid in it, we'll have better brakes. Man, talk about a revival, huh? This thing sat for seven years. And now here she is, getting filled up with brake fluid. I mean, come on. What more could you want from a going to town rig? Yo, Pat, what are you doing in this rig? Getting ready for it to get run over. He's airing down the tires so it doesn't move. So there's your air down all four. I'll air down all four on that as well. All right, so we're getting this thing ready. It's in position. The plan is it's just to kind of roll over it like that. We got a forklift, so we're gonna do something with that. I'm not gonna be able to go fully over it because like I'll flip and like bang my head or something. I got a helmet though. Helmet's right there. Just in case anything happens. But we're gonna really try to destroy this. What are we doing today, Rip? Running over a car with the, the worst vehicle known to man.
Thanks, man. Oh. Hey. Land art. As we planned, I mean, we we're kind of expecting it, but we were hoping it wasn't going to happen. All right, so it's still the same day. We got a tow truck to be able to come and pick up this Impala because it's an eyesore to the shop and we can't have it here. And plus, it's going to create a mess and we don't have space and it's just got to get out of here. So we got the tow truck here coming to pick it up. There's the culprit. There's who did all the damage. Bad, bad car. Yeah, bro.